Hey guys, I am Kelsey and I am the nurse behind your Heart is Mine blog site. It is my attempt with my blog to encourage, support, share love and creativity within this profession. I am also a member of the group called Show Me Your Stethoscope, which you can find on Facebook and you can join yourself. Show Me Your Stethoscope is on a mission to help establish state mandated staffing ratios for nurses all over. This is a huge deal. Nurses in the United States deal with this issue every single day. I'm quite content and happy in my position right now, but the emotions that you are going to hear and what I'm about to share were influenced by a past position that I had. I left that position because I felt unsafe in my nursing practice. I pled my case and I wasn't heard. They lost a really awesome nurse that day. I want you guys to hear me loud and clear. I'm not here to ask for a raise and neither are these nurses from Show Me or Stethoscope. We don't want a million dollars. We're not asking anything except to be heard. This is my spoken word called Safe Staffing Saves Lives. I hope you enjoy it. I tell my friends and family that I work a 12 hour shift. I leave it at that, but we nurses know the reality of it. We get there at seven and we're lucky if we leave at nine because we don't want to leave any of our charting behind. Because Lord knows if we didn't chart it, we didn't do it. But sometimes there are nights where I'm just like, screw it. Because I have to be, ex be back at 7 a.m. and I need some sleep to do it. If you ask me, it comes down to this. You either chart really well or you take care of your patients really well. When you accomplish both, you most likely feel like crap. You know, when I decided to become a nurse, I did it because I cared. I wanted to be a light in a dark place and a hand to hold when a diagnosis gives them a scare. I wanted to sing to my patients, make a difference in their day, ask them about their life, and reassure them that everything is going to be okay. But that's not how it is. Nope, that's not how it rolls. Now it's all about HCAP scores going up and keeping unit cost down. Who cares that you made a connection with a patient and touched their life? I hope you document, documented that you were in there and that you brought that cup of ice. What is this coming to? This isn't care. This is just business that isn't fair. Nurses are amazing. They are the strongest people that I know. They have the intellect to save a life and the emotion and heart to cry with a family of a dying patient. They sing to their patients and they go out of their way. They don't eat lunch or use the bathroom just to make sure their patients are okay. When we're given a patient load that they know we can't handle, you get a pat on the back and a thanks for being a team player. This is not okay. Not only is this hard for us, but it's not safe for you. Your mother, your father, your sibling or child is in my care, but I have seven other patients who expect me to be there. Just because I'm a nurse doesn't mean that you're safe when I have seven other patients to do the same. Tart assessments, pass meds, respond to emergencies, the list goes on. The only thing I could say about this is that this is wrong. People are dying from nurses being spread too thin because we can't do everything. We're just one man. We're expected to have immaculate charting and pain assessments complete. Meds passed on time, but who cares that I didn't eat? I watched a patient die who bled internally from a heart procedure because her nurse had nine other patients and it took two hours to finally see her. It wasn't that nurse's fault because that patient needed a closer watch care, but that hospital took that risk and left that patient right there. That was someone's mother who should not have died. There was a nurse who committed suicide for a mistake that she made, probably because she was spread so thin and after her they came. She was a great nurse who made one mistake. No thank you for all that you've done in the past with all your past care. Just all the focus was on that one air. That pushed her over the edge because of their aggressive approach that brought her a lot of strife. So much that it hurt her so deeply that she took her own life. That was someone's daughter who should not have died. 
This is not okay. I can't say this any louder, stronger, or with tears in my eyes. Hear me now when I say that safe staffing saves lives. I'm not talking about patients. I'm talking about nurses too. They're leaving this profession because they're so tired like me and you. Tired of unsafe staffing and documentation galore. Tired of giving their all and getting nothing in return. These are the most caring and beautiful beings that have been put on this earth. Doing things to save lives that people wouldn't do for a million bucks. Missing family plans and leaving spouses alone because they felt the need to stay and chose not to go home. When their patient went bad at changes shift, there's no other option. And that's just it. To make sure that patient who was in their care all day got stabilized and everything was okay. These are people who care. These are people who love. Even though your mission is all about saving costs, we can't afford to lose nurses and we can't afford to lose lives. This is not okay. I love my profession and I'm proud of what I do. I live to see lives changed and take care of people like you. But please do me this one favor to help the heart of this profession stay alive. Hear me loud and clear, Congress, when we say that safe staffing saves lives.